Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. So every now and then I like to switch mediums just to break the monotony of doing the same thing over and over again. So I started working with air dry clay, which I used to use a lot when I would refinish furniture. And I've been making these little trinket dishes and these brush rests and people went crazy for them. So I've sold a lot of them and um, I was having trouble keeping up with it actually. So now I'm getting back to painting. So you can see here, this is what we're going to be painting with watercolor. And I'm going to be painting these little daisies that I did for some Mother's Day cards. And I really like the way they turned out. So I wanted to do a painting. So I'm using my Muno Pan paints. I've got Fluid 100, 100% uh, cotton watercolor paper. This is great paper if you're a beginner and you want to switch it up or step it up from, say, Canson XL. This paper is not that expensive. It is 100% cotton. It's not as good as Arsh, but it's uh, definitely a step up from, say, Canson XL. So I have a size 4 and a size 8 silver black velvet brush. And these are the colors that I'm using for the petals, that beige and that that gray and I'm sure you're going to hear Diesel barking now and then it's uh, in the morning and he's very excited in the morning so I will apologize for his barking <laughs> ahead of time so to create these flowers I have pre-mixed my colors you can see them on my little palette there on the right and I've watered them down meaning that I've diluted them because I want these flowers to be very soft looking I don't want very vibrant colors so the first thing I did was to use the yellow to create the shape of a gumdrop. And then at the base, while it is still wet, in the, at the base of that little gumdrop, I added some orange, and then beneath that, I added a little bit of brown. Then I picked up that gray mix for the petals. And using the very tip of the brush, while the center is still wet, I start to paint my petals. And as I pull the brush across the paper, I apply a little pressure and then I lift back up to the point. And now the reason that I'm doing this while the center is still wet is because I want the colors from the center to bleed into my petals. That's a look that I like, but if you don't like that look, you can certainly wait until your centers are dry and then go back and add your petals. And this is a really simple painting, but it turns out so pretty. So I hope that you give it a try. So you can see again, I'm picking up that yellow, creating the shape of a gumdrop, dropping in the orange and a little bit of brown. And while it's still wet, I'm picking up my gray. Using the tip of the brush, I touch the center of that flower and I pull my petal down and I add pressure as I pull the brush across the paper and then lift up to the point of the brush so that the beginning of my petal and the tips of my petals are pointed and the center is a little bit more broad. So when I started this painting, I did not have a composition in mind. I usually I usually plan out the composition, but for this painting, I just wanted to get the brush to the paper. Lately, I've been in a bit of a painting funk, so I'm trying to shake that off by just putting the brush to the paper and not thinking too much about it. There are certain things that I do in order to shake off one of these uh, painting funks that I get into now and then, and one of them is switching mediums, trying out something different, and I also watch a lot of YouTube videos, try to find inspiration through other artists, but my all-time favorite <laughs> is to go to an art store and buy new art supplies, but of course that can get kind of expensive, so I don't do it as often as I wish I could. All right, so now here we have um, the point where I'm painting my stems and you can see I have a combination of different greens and the reason for that is because using different colors in your painting will uh, make it more more detailed more interesting instead of using just one green which can make it your painting look flat so I have three different greens there 
and I'm using the smaller brush a size of four to paint the stems and for the leaves of the, these flowers you I'll show you in just a moment just how easy I painted these these leaves now you can paint any style leaf that you want but I wanted some scraggly leaves for these little daisies I thought it would make it more interesting and you can see here I'm just touching the brush to the paper and swiping across and with these little lines creating the shape of a leaf and I really like the way they turned out but again you don't have to make that type of leaf you can just make your typical leaf and you can do that simply by using the same technique that we used to create the petals of this flower with the tip of your brush touch it to the paper as you start to pull it across add a little bit of pressure and when you want to end your leaf lift up to the tip then go over to the other side start at the top and do the same thing and you can create a nice broad leaf or you can use a larger brush and you can create a leaf with just one swipe so I added a few buds as you can see and now I'm using the size 4 brush to create the sepals of these little buds and again using the same technique point of the brush pressure and then release. So again this is a really simple painting this is perfect for the beginner and as I mentioned earlier in the video I did pre-mix my colors and I made sure to dilute them. But you can use any colors you like and you can um, make your colors as bright, rather your flowers as bright or as muted as you like. So now I'm just filling in some areas here with a few leaves, wherever I think I may need one. And once you're finished with your painting or you think you're finished, take a step back, walk away, come back. And look at it again with fresh eyes and you may see things that you didn't see before like uh, maybe you need another flower here or another leaf there it's always a good idea to walk away and come back and look at it again as you can see here that i felt i needed another little flower so i'm adding a tiny one here i added an extra leaf And I'm going to add one more little flower here. So just go around your painting and add a little leaf here wherever you have some empty space that looks a little boring or add another little flower. And by the time you're done, you'll have a great little painting. Now, one, I let this dry for a little bit, and then I came back and I picked up a little bit of the gray that I used for the petals. And I wanted to add a little bit more shadow and detail to the petals. I thought they looked a little bit flat. So just using a swipe of the brush on each of the petals towards the base of the flower, I created a little bit of sh shadow and detail but I didn't go crazy, just one little swipe of the brush and that was all it needed. I also did the same for the leaves, picking up a little bit of the green. And because we're layering color, the color will appear a little bit darker. So um, you don't have to mix any new colors for this. Just use the colors that you have on your palette. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you do give it a try. Check out the description box for links to the products used. And as always, if you have any questions regarding any of the techniques you've seen me use here, just leave it in the comments. I'll always get back to you. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your interaction with my channel is really helpful. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and makes my, uh, my video available to more people. And it's a really nice way to show your support, and I really, really do appreciate it. So now I'm just adding a few finishing touches here and there, nothing crazy. And this painting is finished. I hope you give it a try. It's really simple, perfect for the beginner. 
and a lot of fun. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.